Hi guys, it's Lisa Young and this is the first video I'm recording after having my baby. He's five weeks old now and honestly I thought I would get to doing this a lot sooner than now but um, he is quite a handful. I forgot what heavy, how much work having a newborn can be. This is number three for me and um, he's just throwing me for a loop. So anyways, I'm finally getting back into the swing of things and I am really excited to be doing another video for you guys. So I'm going to be doing a mermaid look for you. It's like a typical fins and shell. And um, for the fins, I'm going to be using three colors. I'm going to use um, Diamond FX Bronze. And I don't know how this is coming across, but it's actually like a goldeny green color. It's really pretty. And a Wolf Metallic Green. And a Tag Metallic Yellow. So I got all three brands going on with this and I get a lot of question about these three brands mostly about tag I've been getting lots and lots of questions about tag and if I like it and what I think about it um, well I've ordered some tags so I could try it out for you guys and let you know and I like it it's a great paint um, obviously I've used all three diamond effects wolf and tag and I think they're all equally as good as each other in my opinion they're pretty much the same um, pretty interchangeable and none stand out as being better than any of the other brands. So if you're going to go ahead and buy um, one of those three brands, then buy whatever one you want, whether it be because of price or because of color, they all work equally as well. Um, personally, I am going to be, as I use up my Diamond Effects, I'm going to be replacing the colors with Tag. The only reason I'm doing that is because there's been some recent Diamond Effects drama. If you don't know about it, you can read up on it yourself. Uh, facepaintforum.com has a whole um, thread on it if you want to read what's been going on. Um, so for political reasons, I'm going to be switching over to Tag. I don't think that Diamond Effects really handled the situation well. I think that they've kind of soiled their brand name. So even though the paint is awesome and great, um, I'm going to be switching over to tag because tag is also a good paint. So I'm still going to use my diamond effects, but as I use it, I'll be replacing it with tag. So if you see me using tag more and more in the videos to come, that's why. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some of that, um, tag metallic yellow. I got it on a sponge here. Um, now if I did this face a lot, I would definitely make a rainbow cake of these three colors because I would speed up this process considerably. Um, I am going to go ahead and apply this right uh, in the corner of my eye. So I covered my whole eyelid and I'm just going to bring it up just a little bit past the brow like that. Now I'm going to be taking that bronze color, loading it on my sponge and continuing with it going up this way in um, a shape very much like a butterfly wing. It's going to be pretty much the same shape. We're going to go from the corner of the eye and go all the way up almost to the top of the hairline. Flip the sponge and blend those two colors together. Now I'm just going to take that um, metallic green from Wolf and just on the very tip of the sponge, just a tiny bit because this color is really strong. Um, so just a little bit and put that at the very edge up near the hairline and flip the sponge over and blend it in. Okay. Now I'm taking some more yellow and right on the cheekbone, um, kind of at a diagonal from the outside corner of the eye, I'll just pat a little bit of yellow on there. Get some of that bronzy color and blend it in. So you want just a little shape right there. So I have some Diamond Effects loaded on a number six Low Cornell Comfort brush, a round brush. And directly in the center, I'm going to do a teardrop. And this is going to create the shell. So the shell is made up of teardrops. Go push your brush down. And go straight down and then end in a point. Now go down a little bit like that and do another one, a smaller one, and one last one, and curve that last one in a little bit. And then to complete it at the bottom, just do one teardrop going that way, 
Another one going that way for a flat bottom. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add one more teardrop on each side. There we go. I think that looks a little better. Now I'm just going to do little circles and these can be little pearls going up in a curving motion like that. Starting at the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to do a really light line, swoop it up, and then push your brush as you come up to make the line thicker. So, come up, round it out, and down like that. You're going to do that same thing starting from the outside corner of the eye. up and around and then if you're on an older child you can connect the two under the eye I wouldn't do this on a young a young child so right under the eye connect the two now using scalloped motions connect these two swirls and I'm going to do a series of those scallops um, down the whole design. Now for the bottom section I'm going to start in the middle and do a teardrop and then two smaller ones going up, all of them pointing to one point at the top. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna take some black on a zero Grumbacher uh, round brush, and I'm gonna outline the fins and my the shell here. So to start at the top and end in a fine um, point there, continue down. All right, so there's the shell, and now I'm just going to do some shadows on the fin. So just right under here, do a little black shadow, the same thing here. And then underneath these little scalloped edges, just really lightly. You don't want to overwhelm it. Okay, and now for this part, I'm just going to go under each of these scalloped shapes. And just a little bit of the teardrops. Okay, so it's all done. I went ahead and added some glitter and um, a couple highlights here and there. And um, that's it. That's all there is to it. And I get a lot of questions about my glitter. Everyone wants to know what kind of glitter I use. I use a finely milled, or I don't know if that's the right word, but a fine um, iridescent glitter. And um, I don't know where I got it. I feel so bad. I get so many questions. Where do you get your glitter? And I bought it a long time ago in a bulk supply, so it's lasted me forever. And I cannot remember from where. So I'm really, really sorry. Um, a good tip for getting glitter is make sure you get a fine glitter uh, because it sticks to the skin better than chunkier glitters do. All right, so that's it. I hope that it was helpful to some of you and that you can use it at an event soon. Um, if you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Bye.